Hey, what's up, guys? Drew here from Terrell Game Vlogs. I haven't put a video up on this channel in a while. Um, regarding the announcement I did, like a, it's probably been over a month now, uh, where I said pretty much this channel is going to be more of a vlogging slash real talk channel. And with that being stated, what that really amounts to is is that this is what the channel where I'll be talking some real shit from time to time. Uh, and I'll probably get into some of the requests I got a while ago in terms of relationship questions. But tonight's video is kind of a, I wouldn't really call it a rant because I'm too tired to actually call it a rant. It's just more of me being ticked off about this whole thing. Um, and it's a, it's kind of a race specific one, although I'm pretty sure it's something almost anybody can relate to, to be honest with you. Um, is this Uncle Tom bullshit that always seems to pop up. Specifically with black people. Now, if you're someone who watches, um, if you're someone who watches like my kind of videos, like whether it's, it's not, it doesn't have to be me, but it could be like um, Chibi. I always forget his name. I forget his name. Chibis or Sawyer's or or fucking Double Four or fucking For Never World or fucking King of Lightning or Giguk or any of that or Happily Aaron. You know, any of those type of anime videos. Uh, as a black person, specifically for me anyway, just because I can relate the most, you've always kind of hit that weird line where people have called you kind of like, oh, you're a bad representation of a black person. Like, you're you're like the white black people. And if you're an intelligent black person who also doesn't necessarily side with everything that would make sense, like, it seems like if you, if I, if I've ever been, if you've ever been in the situation, you understand what I mean. But like, there are certain things that have been happening in the news and the media where it's like, obviously, as a black person, you should feel this type of way about it. And if you don't, the first thing another black person will say to you is like, oh, you've been an Uncle Tom ass nigga. And I'm like, because I don't agree with what you're saying or I don't agree with that fucking reaction. For example, I don't fucking believe in that Black Lives Matter bullshit. I think black people matter. But I actually think everyone matters, so I don't. I wouldn't use the hashtag Black Lives No Matter. I I don't fucking care for that fucking movement because it's full of a bunch of hypocrites, and if anything, it's also full of a bunch of racists. I remember there there was like recently a news report of a black woman who was trying to do like a Black Lives Matter rally when like nobody was showing up to it. So what did she do? Oh, she tweeted out a whole bunch of death threats to herself and like a whole bunch of other African American. Um, a whole bunch of other African American uh, students at the college she was going to, essentially instigating racism by being racist towards her own race while pretending to be another race. And it's like all these little stupid little fucking things about that whole that whole group and their whole message. It's like it's like the message may have has points. The problem is it's muddled by a whole bunch of bad people with bad personality traits and bad life decisions. And I'm called an Uncle Tom because I don't fucking want to believe in that shit. I mean, for God's sakes, it's also known that black people are known to be heavily religious going to church every Sunday. Well, I can give a fuck less about going to church. Once again, it's like, oh, you don't, what's what, you don't believe in Jesus? I, I don't care about, I don't think Jesus cares uh, if I come to a building every Sunday and listen to another human being tell me what the Bible's telling me, even though the Bible is made to uh, be read by anyone. The Bible is simplified. That's the whole point of the Bible. The Bible is simplified in a way that I should be able to read it normally. So why the fuck am I coming there, coming to a building to get your interpretation of a book I should be able to read on my fucking own? And it's always this, like, this stupid shit where it's like every time you don't fit a stereotype, Niggas want to get on you about every little thing. And if you even defend a white person in a situation where it's not okay, which is like 90% of the time, you're an Uncle Tom ass nigga. And you know what you know what fucking pisses me off? Black people are not always right. Half the time they're fucking wrong, and they're wrong for the dumbest fucking reasons. It's always like, oh, well, it's like look at this. See, white people only white people can be racist. I've heard black people tell me that. It's fucking wrong. Like, this is one of the reasons why I don't have as much of an animosity towards white people as some black people do. Because I've heard more stupid and insulting shit from black people than I have from white people. But, you know, you're an Uncle Tom ass nigga because you don't think the way I... I don't think the way you do. Therefore, I'm a traitor to my race. Because being an Uncle Tom ass nigga is pretty much that. You know, 
somebody who goes out of his way to try, try to appease the white man. I ain't got no reason to fucking do that. The white man, in the context of most conversations, ain't doing me anything directly anyway. It's always a black person. Even at the job I work at, my boss is a black woman, and oh my God. Oh my God. That's all I'm going to say about that, because I don't know what can and cannot come back and bite me in the ass, so that's all I'll say about that. But I just hate that shit. I hate the fact that I have to, that no matter, that if, if, if and this is the problem a lot of kids today are having, where they want to say something and be themselves throughout their, you know, the childhood, they're, you know, they're finally discovering who they are and they have their opinions and then they're going to get backpedaled because everyone chastises them for being themselves. And it's, it's a very rough situation because in school, if anyone's noticed, high school kind of hits that weird important but not important uh, vibe where it's not important because at the end of the day, you won't probably see any of those people again. But it's very important because you're at a very vulnerable stage in your life. And these people can make or break you through the simplest of actions, whether it's through influence or whether it's through shit that happens to you. Just like why people end up committing suicide in high school. You know, it doesn't seem like a big issue in the grand scheme of things, but you also got to think about it from their perspective. They're still trying to figure out who they are and then to have a whole bunch of rumors and shit spread about them and to be the butt of everyone's jokes and to be shitted on and beaten up and fucking pranked all the time. It creates a very... This creates a very bad personality where you become like a hermit and you're scared of everybody. It's a terrible fucking way to live, and it shit always happens because everybody wants to fucking throw out, "Oh, you're 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 a disgrace," you know, "You're a traitor to your own race." Like all this like stupid little side, like everyone wants to throw fucking shade and shit, and it's just like, dude, shut up. Like like you know, and, and I, I, I you know, I always I used to complain about, oh my god, there's another message about be yourself. Another message about be nice to other people. Another message of don't judge a book by its cover. Don't judge a book by its cover. And I used to sit there and be like, God, why are they repeating these same old ass tired as fuck lessons? And then I realized it's because people still don't get it. It's not just for the fucking five-year-old who's starting to learn about, you know, human interaction properly and understanding that there are things you should and should not do in certain situations. But it's also for the grown ass forty year old man and forty forty year old man or woman who's running around still thinking that they were a part of the slavery days when they weren't. The motherfuckers weren't even slaves. The motherfuckers didn't even directly suffer from slavery. The people who did were their grandparents, and guess what? They're dead. That's the one thing I get shit on the most for when I don't when I just like I, I have no interest in talking slavery. Because I hate when people talk slavery. It's like, oh, the white man, this 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 nation was built on our backs. Well, technically, they were also built on the fucking Indians' backs. Actually, more so than ours. Because, see, and then black people like to fucking run around and scream about, oh, we have it so hard. Compared to who? We actually get, ironically enough, black people have made it pretty far considering Although the problem is we're kind of viewed as that race who whine and bitch so much. Like a spoiled brat. This is what we come off as to a, a, some other races. A spoiled fucking brat. We whine and bitched enough until our fucking daddy of America said, all right, here's, here's a month dedicated to you. Here's this huge cultural push for yourselves. You know, I mean, it's just, it's just fucking frustrating. And it's aggravating that if you don't agree with the mindset that white people are evil and, you know, Chicken and watermelon is the greatest combination. And Roscoe's chicken and waffles is amazing. Medea's great. Fucking Empire is the shit. If you don't agree with all these sentiments, you're a fucking Uncle Tom ass nigga. And you need to go eat a bag of dicks. Like, it's like, oh man, I don't want to vote for fucking Hillary. And be like, oh, 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 oh. It's like, you, you Uncle Tom ass nigga. I'm like, no. And, they, and it was funny because they even show, I, I, I was looking online, they show like this video of this Trump supporter, this black Trump supporter arguing with, like, this black Hillary slash Bernie Sanders supporter, and he wasn't stupid. Because it's not like Black Lives... But I think they were also Black Lives Matter. Uh, hmm. Black Lives Matter people, and it was the same stupid shit of, oh, you don't know what he's done. And, and granted, I, as far as, you know, who was better, I'm not going to get into that conversation, but my point is that a Trump, black Trump supporter... 
is hit with that same shit. You're a traitor, a disgrace to your race. You ain't representing us. You gon you are what's prom you're the problem with black people in America. You know, they never want to talk about the half the shootings that went on with people getting killed by police. It's because fucking half of the reason was because half of them were fucking resisting, which is dumb as fuck to do, especially when these are the same niggas that run around screaming, oh, these they out here killing us. So why the fuck is it that you can say that and then in the next scene be sitting there trying to resist arrest? You just said that they out here killing us, but you want to give them another motherfucking reason to shoot your dumb ass. And then they'll be like, oh, see, look at you. You're sitting there trying to chastise us, and we're sitting there trying to fight for what's right. You're also getting killed for no real reason other than being fucking stupid. I want one of the best examples of uh, that shit is like I think they did like this thing where they took like a popular Black Lives Matter guy and they had him do like police training where they did like simulations of events and he had to choose whether to shoot or not to shoot and to see how big of an issue, how quickly you had to make that decision because if you don't, you're fucking dead. And that's what happens. Like, I hate this. I hate that whole police bullshit where people want to talk. And I know it's kind of me rambling at this point, but it's, it's more so me just mentioning my opinions on things and how they're viewed as Uncle Tom shit. And it's just like, you, all you got to do is look at the situation objectively. But see, to me, that would imply stepping away out of yourself, taking away the personal bias as much as you can and look, assessing a situation being like, OK, this is what happened. This is the facts. Make a decision. No, 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 no. It's like it's like how people. It's like I I used to make fucking statements to friends and be like, oh, let me guess, you voted for Obama because he's black. It's like, man, stop being an Uncle Tom ass nigga. No, I'm just pointing out a fact. You point you. That's technically that'd be a racist reason for voting for someone. You voted for someone by the color of their skin, not not because of the quality of work that they do, or their policies or any of that shit. That's technically viewed as racist. That you only voted for, you thought that this dude was superior because of his skin color. And some of you are like, oh, why didn't you think he was superior? And why did you vote for him and then instead of the other guy? Because you thought he was a superior. He was a superior choice. I don't know. Just a little ramble I wanted to do. Uh, just leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. Tell me what you think, and I'll try to make more videos on here. If you have any suggestions for any type of videos you want to see, let me know in the comment section below. Lost the game for your boy Terrell, and I will catch you guys later. Peace off.